It's Rennie here, and it's my turn to have a play with the December freebie. Um, if you're a member of the Playing With Paper and Glue Facebook group, you can get this freebie at the start of the month, um, and it's exclusively available there for a month, and then at the end of the month you can get it in our shop if you're not a member of the group. But I highly recommend uh, you go over and join the group because there's a great bunch of people there, and they make awesome things and you get to see all of their awesome things that they make in that group i'll pop the link to the group in the description box i'll pop the link to the shop where you can get the freebie also in the description box and today i'm actually going to be using a second freebie this one's been out for a while in our shop um, it's just a template a photo frame template and i'm going to be using that today with this freebie to make some frames Alright, so what I'm going to do to start with is uh, trim my frame. Well, I'm just cutting out two of these larger frames, chopping off the excess paper at the top and the bottom, like so. Pop that one out of the way for now. And then I'm just going to trim the top off this full sheet. So I don't want that white on there to accidentally get on my frame. So now I'm going to, using a bit of glue paper, pop some glue all over the back of these frames I've just trimmed out. So, and making sure that I've got this up the right way, get this one up the right way, I'm going to stick this one on this one, like so. Now I really should wait for it to dry so I don't accidentally tear my paper with this blade but I'm impatient so let's give it a whirl and hope for the best. I have printed uh, these on 160 GSM so it's like a thin card um, or a thick paper just because I want them to be sturdy. If you don't have that you can just do it with regular printer paper they'll just be a little bit floppier so be a little more careful. Alright, almost there. Okay, now I'm going to trim out inside window of the frame hope my air conditioner isn't too noisy on the video recording it's very warm here today Other one. Ta da! So I'm going to flip those over. Oh, we have these cute frames and these little bits ready for some embellishing. Alright, I'm going to ink everything up real quick. keep these aside for now and we're just going to work on the frames. Now I've gone ahead earlier and cut out a set of the elements using the old scan and cut and I've inked all the edges ready to use. So I'm just going to grab a couple of elements. Let's go with 
these little feather things and decide where I want those to go. I quite like those on the edge. So, a bit of glue there. And a bit of glue there. And pop him there, like that. Maybe a word. keep it simple because simple makes it nice and quick and easy and that's quite effective I can just stick that on a page when I'm doing a project put something in it whenever I'm ready and it's just quick and easy as that let's pick another embellishment for this one uh, this layer I'm just going to put a little bit of glue sort of in the middle so his wings can kind of curl up a bit oops might find a body I accidentally lost one of my bodies after I cut it out I don't know what happened to it it flew away but I think we've got enough bodies So butterfly there and then maybe one of these. Perhaps this. Is it better with a small one maybe? Again, keep it simple, ready to use, and you know, super fast. I really like that one, that's my favourite. So, uh, this template comes in a few different sizes, so I thought we'd do a slightly smaller one as well, see how that looks. So, ruler, I'm going to need to cut them this way. And I think I'll just do two for right now, so I'll trim this one off. And there. Now I've got to find what I did with the... There it is, this. And this time I think I'll trim this bottom off and do it down the bottom this time over here best if you glue it the right way up no good to you if you glue it template down is it that's gonna stick glue all over of sticking things on upside down Now 
another little embellishment sized piece that can be used later. And again I'm just going to cut the middles out. Now, as you can see on this one, I've got a bit of white on the edge because I didn't cut it off and I glued it right up against it. But because I'm inking the edge and it's such a light colour, you probably won't notice. So I think we can get away with it. But moral of the lesson is to cut the edges off your paper before you start gluing stuff to it. decorate these ones now. So I'm gonna need little elements. Got this sort of really measuring tape piece too. That's kind of cute. Alright, so let's start with that. dollop of glue can't pick it up I'm putting the top and the bottom one on first so I can centralise the middle one and have them look somewhat even in that gap. Of course it helps if you move them over. Although when you've glued them in the wrong place you just got to learn to love it. <laughs> and I don't know if we want a number or a little word or if it's good just like that. I want that there. Just like that. Okay. And then this one. Excuse me, you're all sticking to my finger. You, come to me. There. 
I don't want another one of those. Pop that there. Like it needs some other balance, but I'm not entirely sure what I want. That might be it. I'll put that on. Like that. Okay, so there, very quick and easy for awesome frames, ready to use in a project. And for these little bits that you've got left over, there, decorate them up as little tags or bits. Here's a few I made earlier. I made some other frames earlier. So those, clear the depths a bit. Little tag. Embellishments. And then I also made little folio. And these sort of layered tags and this big one so it's just you know have fun with it I'll uh, pop photos of all these in the end of the video so you can take a closer look if you want to and I'll see you all in the next one thanks for watching bye